I feel like almost as many people smoke weed as people drink. So since doing my first video on reacting to only in Oregon memes, it has been requested that I do another one. However, in today's video, I wanted to answer some of the commonly asked questions about living in Oregon. And who better to answer these questions than someone who literally came out of the womb in Oregon? So the first burning question that everyone seems to have is, so do you like live in the woods? And to that I have to ask, do you have trees where you're from? Where I live now just kind of looks like anywhere else with trees. I don't know how to answer that question. I feel like the person who would ask this lives in like Arizona or something maybe. Onto a slightly better question. Does it rain all the time? Now, let me tell you, it will be hot and dry all summer long. And then starting, what do you think? October, November? This is in Portland. It will start raining and it'll get cloudy and then it'll be that way until probably April or May. Beavers or ducks? Well, I feel like I'm the least qualified person to answer a sports question. To be quite honest with you, I've been to one professional game in my life. It was last year and it was a ducks game. However, I will say it was kind of fun. There's a lot of energy, but when it comes to like who the teams are, I could care less. So I don't know. Let's just go with the Ducks because I've never gone to a Beavers game. Do you guys believe in Bigfoot? I don't, but I know a lot of people here do. People are convinced that Bigfoot lives in the woods here. Is that true? I don't know. You can't convince me that it's true or it's not true. But honestly, I'm leaning toward the fact that Bigfoot's not real. I mean, when you really think about it, we've explored most of land, but we've explored more of like the surface of Mars and the surface of the moon than we have our own oceans. So I would believe in the Loch Ness Monster before I believed in Bigfoot, you know? Do you make your own beer? I don't know anyone that has ever made their own beer, but I feel like a lot of people here make kombucha including myself. I mean, let me know down below if you make kombucha. I feel like that's a common thing here. Isn't weed legal in Oregon? Yes, it is. In fact, since October 1st, 2015, if you want the specifics, you can go into a dispensary, just like going into a liquor store and buy weed. The laws are literally the same. Don't smoke weed in public. Don't smoke weed when you're driving. Just pretend it's like alcohol and the laws are the same. And to answer another question you're probably thinking, does everybody smoke weed in Oregon? I honestly, well, a lot of people do actually. I feel like almost as many people smoke weed as people drink. Have you met Fred and Carrie? If you don't know who Fred and Carrie are, they are the characters on the show Portlandia. And to answer that question, no, I have not met them. If I were to meet any local celebrity, it would be Gavin Leatherwood, who plays Nicholas Scratch on The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So if you're watching this, hello. Isn't The Simpsons based in Oregon? I know that the creator of the show is from here. His name is Matt. Groaning? Matt groaning. Let's pretend I already knew that. So probably, why do so many people wear flannel? I don't know how to answer that because I feel like everyone in the Northwest does. I would say because most of the time it's not too hot and it's not too cold. So you can't wear a jacket because you'll sweat. And you can't wear a t-shirt because you'll get some goosies. I'm gonna go with that. I actually own one flannel in case you were curious. This is my one and only flannel. Can you survive in Portland without a car? Well, you can definitely survive in Portland by clicking the like button so that mother algorithm sees her next celebrity. I'll wait. Are you done? Did you do it? Okay, cool. I mean, yeah, you could also take like the Max, which is a light rail. You could take a tram, which is like a streetcar that runs on a tramway. You can take an e-scooter, you can take a bus. Why do people from Oregon have accents? I feel like anyone that's asked that question in a place where they're from doesn't know how to answer that question. Like that's like asking someone from London why they have an accent. They just do, but 
they probably don't think they have an accent. I want someone to tell me why they think people in Oregon have accents. Like what do people in Oregon say or how do they say things that's like so different to them that makes them think we have an accent. How do you pronounce Insert name in Oregon here. Okay, we have a running list here of names that people want to know how to pronounce. We have Malhir, we have Yahats, we have, oh my god, I just realized Yahats has a C in it. Okay, this is probably why people ask this question, huh? We have Willamette, we have Cooch Street, which is spelled the same as Couch, but trust me, it's Cooch after someone's last name. Yeah, I know, what a fun last name. And then we have Umatilla. Also, there's a suburb called Aloha, spelled Aloha, but no, no, here we say Aloha. Don't ask why, I literally, I don't know. How is there no sales tax? I mean, honestly, Oregon makes up for it in property tax and income tax. When you really think about it, all the states probably make about the same amount of money in taxes. They just charge it differently, if that makes sense. You know, like some states like Washington don't have income tax, so they have sales tax. And California somehow has sales tax and income tax and high property tax. So I don't really understand how California still doesn't have any money. What's the capital of Oregon? For some reason, it's not Portland, which doesn't make sense to me because if you look at places like Australia, all the largest cities are also the capitals, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. So I always assume that in the United States it should have been that way as well, but no, there's a town called Salem, which is like an hour south of Portland, and for some reason that's the capital. Do you really not pump your own gas? No, gas stations here actually have paid employees that will run around and pump your gas so you don't have to get out of your car. And honestly, on a super cold day, it's so nice not to have to pump your gas and smell all gassy. Are there a lot of beavers in the beaver state? There's not actually. I've seen a lot more possums. Actually, so many possums, oh my God. So no, there's not, sadly, because I think they're still being hunted and poached, even though they're also our state animal. So that's fun. Isn't everyone from California? So I had to do research on this because I was gonna be like, no, not everyone here is from California, but a lot of people in Oregon are actually from California. So according to science, which is Google, every fifth resident in Oregon was actually born in California. So the more you know, if you're moving here from California, you might end up meeting your childhood neighbor. Okay, now we have my favorite question, which I saved for last, which is pro Cascadia? And my answer is sure. And I know what you're thinking. What is Cascadia? Well, let me tell you. Cascadia is, it's what would you call it? It's an independent movement in the Pacific Northwest that is basically an attempt to form our own nation. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this little link here and educate you on what Cascadia is. Okay, so the Republic of Cascadia has a fandom page, as you can see here. They have a flag, a coat of arms, land of the abundant motto, and evidently the capital of the Republic is Portland, largest cities being Vancouver, BC, Portland, and Seattle, government, prime minister, why do they have names? How would we even know what our prime minister is? The population would be over 20 million. Wow, these people went through a lot of research. And when it comes to what would be part of Cascadia, some people say all of British Columbia, all of Washington, all of Oregon, some maps look totally different. There's even one map that has like all of California and then part of a northern state of Mexico in it being Cascadia. Will it ever happen? Probably not. However, I think history is starting to teach us that oversized countries are harder to maintain. So would we benefit from being a small nation? Probably. Is that an unpopular opinion? Absolutely. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and end it here on this high note. I want to know down below if you think Cascadia could and will become its own country, just for fun. I just wanna know what you guys think about that. I think it's a fun idea. Will it ever happen? You know, we never know. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys down in the comment section. Goodbye. Hello everyone, welcome to the very end of this video. If you click right here, you will be directed to reacting to only in Oregon memes. So thank you for watching and on with more Oregon stuff. Just click, click right here.